child. Who's this? Like, <laughs> damn, she looked good. You saw me on the television, said invite up all the buildings. Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, you know how it is. Thank you so much for returning to my channel. And if you just bumped into my channel, do not forget to subscribe. The red button is here. Make sure guys to click and subscribe and join the family. And do not forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload another video. So people have been asking me, okay, without, okay, before I go any further, I know like I have been absent like for, it was like, it was like, <laughs> it was like a year. It was like months, but like, it's like a week or two weeks. I don't know. It's like a week and some days. Okay, I don't know why. But like my lighting, guys, my light is just... Okay. So, I think it's good now. So, I think you've been wondering where I've been. Okay, I haven't been anywhere. But like, every time like I'm off YouTube, I feel like I'll be absent like for a year. I know it's like a week. But like, yeah, but I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back now. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's talk about why we are here. All right? So, people have been asking me. I know this is like, okay. People have been asking me. Every time I upload a video and every time I go somewhere, people will be like, child, girl, your skin is popping. What do you use? Like, what do you apply? Or what do you, you know? And I'm like, child, like, sis, I don't use anything, okay? My skin is not flawless. I have, like, honey, I have, like, spots all over my skin. My skin has been giving me problems for a long time. And I've been wondering, like, okay, every time you want to, like, cover up your acne, you're constantly looking for solutions to try to cover up your acne while you're working at it, okay? Because obviously you're working at it, you're working at fin like, you're working at like getting rid of your acne, but like the spots will be there and they will take a long time, not a long time, but like they'll take a while for them to disappear. So you want to go somewhere, you want to look good, but what do you do? So today I'm going to share with you tips and tricks, okay? to make your skin look flawless. Even if you have acne, even if you have sports, guys, these tips will be a game changer, all right? These tips, guys, will help you because my skin is not like this. My skin is not flawless like this, guys. My skin is just MS, but like it's getting better. We're getting there each and every day. But if you want to see how this girl or how the skin transformed from this to this, Carry on watching. All right, I think you can see that I'm done with my brows. As you know, like brows take time, okay? We don't want to waste time. We don't want to waste time while we're doing our brows. So if you want to check out my brow tutorial, you can check it out here. I'm going to put like an eye card up there so that you can go and check it out and you can see how you can do your brow. We're going to start off by moisturizing our skin. Okay, I already moisturized my skin, but like to just show you guys for just, you know, yeah. So to, to moisturize my skin, I always use... um. Okay, not always use, but I sometimes use the Nivea Refreshing Moisturizing Cream. I think you can see that. Or, mostly, I use my primer. So, this is the primer that I always use, the Black Opal Primer. Okay, and, oh my god, I had forgotten. Today, I'm going to show you how to cover up scars with affordable makeup products, alright? There is this makeup product that I found. Okay, not I found yet, but yeah. Not, not I found, but like, I've been wanting to try this out for a long time. I bought it in was it 2017 and then i realized this brand guys is so underrated guys this smells brand is very 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 underrated right if you find a Mel's product you'll see okay you'll see how it does or you know how it works the magic so i'm going to start off i don't know if i want to put a moisturizer since i put a moisturizer and yeah you can put a moisturizer or you can put um a primer so let's just oh child so i'm putting this um black opal primer okay sometimes i put a primer or sometimes i put like a moisturizer it just depends on how i want um it to be that day okay so like after i'm done like priming my face and everything's looking good i go in with my revlon candid setting powder this i just take it like this wow doesn't want to open guys this is a mess my nails child okay let's just use our Don't judge me, all right. I'm gonna take this uh, brush, powder brush, and just go in there and just try to do this. If you want, you can use a beauty blender, but here I don't want to use a beauty blender because I want like the powder to be spread out everywhere, like faster. And a beauty blender like takes time. A beauty blender, oh, child. A beauty blender like takes time, all right. So after I'm done with this, I take my fixing spray. The fixing spray that I'm going to use is from Maybelline. 
it's like the lasting fix it's like a matte finish so i just go in with it okay like i don't like the smell okay the smell of this is not really nice honestly like it smells like ink is it ink yeah it smells like yeah something like that like ink or whatever it does the job but i really don't like the smell so where you feel like you are not satisfied with just go in again with your i know the foundation is going to cover up everything but we need to make sure that we have that um good good like strong finish and put on your brow because we want our brow to the setting spray and everything to just don't mind my under eye i know the product didn't go here but it doesn't matter because on my under eyes there are no like spots or whatever of that sort so the product that i'm going to use today is um mel's cosmetics honey you can get this product guys at any china shop I, I had this product a long time ago i think in 2017 but not this but i think i had this and then i had like a lip something i think it was a lipstick or yeah it was a lipstick that is when i realized this is a very very underrated brand guys what is it child okay I want to show you that you can cover up like your acne scars using like any foundation all right this beauty blender is like the bomb okay it was like small like this okay i know this is dirty but like yeah it was like small like this but like it turns big like this and to think that like i bought it also in a china shop but like it's really good quality as you can see like the puffing okay when it's like um dry just like it's hard to press and then when it's like you know soft and and, and wet it's just like big like this okay it'll be like this but if you wet it it will go big like this i don't know how or yeah but like it just expands and then gets bigger like this it gets like more softer okay it's all saying like this video is to show you guys you can cover up acne scars using any type of foundation and this foundation is good but wait till you see the concealer right the concealer is the one which made me to want to look for um mel's foundation because i've been using like the mel's concealer and that's when i realized like this brand is so underrated guys it's really so underrated some things from a china shop it's bad it's not really bad right it's not really bad okay so yeah as you can see like the foundation really covers pretty good like it really covers really well it, re it it doesn't if okay if you have like too much spots if you have like too much dark spots like me you have to do like two coverings you have to put once and then twice okay you have to put like first first and then you have to put like um twice okay if you have like if you have like um well i don't know what i'm saying okay so if you have like um skin that has too too like too much acne is it too much or too many acne scars you have to put like two coats okay you don't have to put one because if you put one the spots won't be like completely covered but if you put two you can see already how it's looking it's looking pretty well so yeah okay if you mess up just fix it okay i think i messed up i messed up my Yeah. Okay, I messed up my. What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? I messed up my. I messed up my brow. So if you mess up, just like you know, do it so that like it's good. So. After this, I'm going to go in with my Mel's concealer. Like, this is the concealer that made me to buy this foundation, guys. That is when I realized Mel's is so underrated, okay? Even, like, the um, lipstick that I used to have for Mel's. I think I used to have it when I was in university. Like, it was so bomb. It was, like, so good. That is when I realized, like, Mel's, man, like, this brand is so underrated. See how it's, like, covering just in one swoosh. See what I'm talking about? So yeah, just go in with your concealer. Okay, I just wanted to put here inside, but I don't know why I ended up going all the way there. I don't know why I ended up doing that. I don't know like why I ended up doing that. But I don't want to put too much like on my forehead and then just draw a line 
here and then let me just put I'm not, I don't want to put two okay I know I'm putting two I just want to get in there like look how it blends guys look how this like Mel's concealer just blend no too much work nothing okay just good just like that so make sure when you blend don't go too far now that I'm done with my face, okay, I'm not done with my face, but like now that I'm done with my foundation, I'm going to go in with my Catrice Illusion Glow, wow, Glow Illusion Powder, it's like translucent loose powder, it's lighter than this, um, I'm going to use this to set my concealer, okay, if you're not comfortable with using a lighter setting powder to kind of like set your under eye, use the color that is like close to your skin or the, the uh, powder that you use for your whole face if you're blending it just requires patience guys so i'm going to start with setting where i put the concealer so like everywhere you put um your concealer just like set that concealer before you go on like your whole face because like this helps and um in preventing creasing because we don't want our face to crease we don't want our eyes to crease so after concealer just right after concealer make sure you um, set your concealer okay now I'm going to use the Revlon Candid I know I already like you know, the Revlon Candid to do the rest of my face so I'm just gonna go with the same beauty blender I always like do this going in with like the same beauty blender to set my face so I'm just gonna go in with this beauty blender to just like set my whole face. If you want to go over like your lighter um, shade, you can because it won't really like cover up much. So if you want to do that, you can. I think you can see guys how like it's covered, okay? You think you can see? And then this side okay the reason why i'm just doing this alone is because i already put like a concealer i already put like my concealer as my base is when i was like doing my brows so there's no need for me to put a base again okay but if you want me to put a base again we can do that so as my base i'm going to use this um nose concealer just like i did i'm not going to put much because i already did this so yeah and the thing is sometimes when i'm putting my base i don't want my base especially when i want like um a kind of like neutral color on my eyes i don't want my base to be too light to be too too light so i'm just like using my blender the blender that i used to just kind of like blend um to kind of like blend my concealer and after that i always 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 like to set my eyes I always like to set my eyes so so that like my eyeshadow won't smudge i don't know if i want to put like blue or i should put brown honestly i'm still like still thinking what i should do or which color i should put but i think i will put brown excuse me i think i'll put a little bit of brown and then i'll put what am i using okay now i'm going to use my i want to use like my eyeshadow brush here at the end of um, the reason why like I'm just putting I'm not putting too much because I don't want too much I don't want too much I just want to just define my eyes because I don't want like a, a plain look on my eyes that's the reason why I'm putting this if not for that I wouldn't put like any eyeshadow at all sometimes I don't put any eyeshadow at all Sometimes I don't put any eyeshadow at all, or sometimes I put eyeshadow like color, colorful eyeshadow. Hmm. And the reason why, guys, I think I need to do like a tutorial um, on how to make like your eyeshadow look, you know, too colorful. To, to make like your eyeshadow look colorful, colorful, colorful. I think on my Instagram, if you follow my Instagram, okay, if you don't follow me on Instagram, don't, don't follow child if you don't follow me on instagram go follow me on instagram and you will see what i'm talking about like all the like face makeup that i do i use eyeshadow okay i use these eyeshadows that you can see here it's light but if you want to make it look um 
dark, 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 not dark, but like if you want to make it look really defined, the color red to pop. If you want the colors to pop, yeah. Just tell me and then I will do a tutorial. Okay, right now I'm using this um, black color just like on the end of my eye and just going in. Just kind of like define my eye. I don't want to put too much. That is why you see me blending everything up. Okay, now that I'm done with like my eyes, I want to put my lashes. You guys, I don't know if I want to put my lashes like on camera, but like, I don't know. These are like um, China Shop lashes, okay? It doesn't matter, like, I feel like they all do the job, okay? I've been a clicks and the lashes they have, they're kind of expensive, but they kind of look like this, like, so go for the cheaper ones, okay? Go for the cheaper ones, girl, like, save that coin. Okay, I got this like for 25 rand a pack, so... They're kind of like affordable. I don't know if I want to put my lashes on camera, but like, let me just put one so that you see how I put my lashes on. I just need to take like a mirror or anything that you can use to see. Put your glue and go here in the center. I don't know. And then adjust to where you feel you want to adjust. And then you're good. I don't know. Imagine top. I forgot to put on mascara, honey, on my lashes, but you cannot see. Because the reason sometimes you put mascara is because the powder. You know, sometimes before, like, I put lashes. Okay, the reason why I put lash. Wow. The reason why I put, like, mascara before I put lashes is because when I put powder, like, my lashes, you know, you know, you, you know the thing. You know the thing. So I always like to go in with. Wow. I always like to go in with my mascara to kind of like rub the powder that is on my eyes so let me just try that but i don't think my lashes i always like um contour my face using any darker color that i can find so i'm going to use this black and then i'm going to use this like brown color if you mix it just gives you like a browner color i don't know but yeah if you mix it it just so this is the color that i'm going to use to contour my face guys Nothing much. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Honey. Honey. Look at this. Look at how it's looking. Okay. How will you know? Like, how will you know that this is like eyeshadow? Okay. Who will know on them streets when you're walking that you have eyeshadow on? Like, who? everything up wow these dogs Ciao. I wanted to show you you can use a liner even here or you can use like powder eyeshadow thank you <laughs> okay I think you can see now my face is all defined and all that good stuff if you want, just go in with your powder or your jawline with the powder that you used before. Just like so. I think you can see how like my jawline is defined and everything. And then for my lip, what are we using for our lips? What are we using for our lip? I'm going to use this brown black opal liner. And just kind of line our lips. Oh, child! Oh, honey! We ain't playing, all right? We ain't playing, child. I don't like to use that um, blush uh, brush. Oh, child, see the rhymes. I don't want to push, I don't want to use the blush brush. See the rhyme, honey. This one, like it's, it doesn't really, 
No, this is like this is a uh, um the highlighter brush. And then I think this what I think. And then this is like the blush brush. See who's rhyming. See who's rapping now. I'm just rapping because I know like I'm you know. So I'm gonna just use any brush, okay? I'm just gonna use this. Take a red color and just kind of like go in here just above your contour. Oh, honey, uh, look at this color. So, to finish off our face, we're gonna go with this Maybelline New York Fixing Spray. I got this at Clicks yesterday. Is it yesterday? Yeah, I went to Clicks yesterday. So, Why not? I know. I always like to put too much setting spray. Okay, the way I feel like the setting spray is. <laughs> Guys, this setting spray is. The smell is not really nice. It smells like ink. I think I told you before. It smells like ink. Somehow. Yeah. Woo! Child! <laughs> Wait, stop. Let me clean my hands first. Let me clean my hands, honey, because child, wow, look how gorgeously flawless I look. Look how flawless I look, guys. Like, okay, this foundation, guys, is really good. Oh my gosh, look how flawless I look. Look how flawless I look. And to think that, like, this is not like a high end foundation okay i was just mixing drugstore and china shop makeup and this is the look okay so why not buy china shop like if you look this good honey like why not buy cheaper okay affordable like why not if you want like flawless makeup and affordable makeup guys buy mills you will thank me later you thank me tomorrow because mills and you know what to so think i'm so obsessed with this with this um I'm so upset. Every time like I go to a China shop, I always pick one. I don't know. I you know, you know sometimes when you feel like okay, you, you know sometimes when you feel like it's just it doesn't have a parent and it needs somebody and then I'm just end up picking one. And sometimes I pick two, but like yeah, okay, the other one. I don't know where the other one is. Oh child, okay. See, when I tell you I'm obsessed, obsessed. When I say I'm obsessed, guys, look at this. I always pick one every time, like, I don't know, but like, I'm obsessed. That's why you see me with this. So, go and just, this is not sponsored, all right? You know, if you know it's from a China shop, you know it's not sponsored. If you know it's from a China shop, you know it's not sponsored. Any China shop you can, make sure this, especially this, guys, especially this. Make sure you have this in your, like, makeup collection because it's good. You're going to thank me later, okay? You're going to thank me later. So, let me just go and... Put on some earrings and make my hair, and then I'm gonna come back just now. Oh, you make me wanna talk back, talk back to you. Say you say you like that. If I hate you, then find someone new. Baby, but you. 